Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy last day of May. It's May 31st. Uh, we're going to get into our June forecast here in a minute in our top news and weather headlines. Of course, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. It stays on your feed throughout the day. Uh, so you can watch it anytime it works best for you. And we also make it into a podcast. You can find that at inform.com slash podcasts. Just look for the Inform Minute. And we have some big, exciting news yeah. to share. Yeah, so this is my last day on air on Facebook Live for a little bit. I'm going to go on maternity leave. It's time to just wait for her to come. I thought she'd be here by now, so this is a whole new waiting game. Um, so you won't see me starting on Monday, and then I'll be back sometime around Labor Day is okay. the plan. So we'll just kind of hold tight and... Hope she comes soon. <laughs> and we are close. I mean, it could be, yeah. it could be any time. Yeah, I'm now. like, later today is fine. <laughs> Hoping, say a little prayer yeah. that things are going. Fine. Yeah, so and, hopefully soon. But And you have promised a uh, picture. For sure. Or at least a picture. Yes. So maybe not right away, uh, yeah. but you will send something. Get my head back above water. <laughs> yeah, I know we were so excited because this is baby number two. Yep. So first baby, I was just dying for a picture. Yeah. And, uh, so And if people follow you on social media. You'll you know, find her there too. Yeah, so good yeah. stuff. All right, not as much fun. Uh, <laughs> well, let's talk about the weather. Yeah, so not a bad day today. We had those thunderstorms roll through yesterday. Ended up with about three quarters of an inch of rain here in Fargo, about four tenths in Grand Forks. Um, that's all cleared out. I did get a really cool picture of lightning that struck a tree in Fergus Falls. So there was some fierce weather with that yesterday. That's all cleared out, giving us plenty of sun to kickstart your Friday. Beautiful start to the day. Increasing clouds. I'm already noticing that, especially down near the North Dakota, South Dakota border. So we'll go partly cloudy this afternoon. And maybe a spotty little pin dot shower with some of those clouds rolling in. I wouldn't expect anything heavy or long lasting, maybe not even umbrella worthy, but if you quickly need the windshield wiper today, here's your heads up. Uh, that'll clear out overnight tonight. We have a dry day for tomorrow, tons of sun, gorgeous first day of June. Wind out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour, maybe a gust to 20, but otherwise temps in the 70s to near 80 tomorrow. And it's not like nice. humid yet, so it's really comfortable. Okay. Like a comfortable 77 tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be nice tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, we shake things up a bit. So early heads up, we do have a level two risk. That's that yellow color when I show you those storm risk maps. Uh, level two risk for severe storms on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Large hail and damaging winds looking to be your primary threats. Uh, thunderstorms will develop Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Those will push in from the northwest and kind of drop down to the southeast. Right now, the timing for Fargo area, I'd say after 5 p.m., um, but we're still a couple of days away, so that can shift and change. I just want you to be aware of some of that. We have graduations going on this weekend. If you're headed back from your weekend plans, if you're going to the lake this weekend, uh, big hail is a possibility on Sunday. That should quiet down by Monday morning. And then next week, I have another chance of storms on Tuesday. Otherwise, temperatures, lots of 70s, close to 80 a couple of days. So very summer-like. Very summer-like. A little more heat, a little more instability then, so chances for thunderstorms. But... Otherwise, a pretty good forecast. I like it. And yeah. a great time. If you don't have it already, make sure you have that storm yep. tracker weather app on your phone, especially moving into severe weather yes. season. Yeah. Easier to track. I mean, the radar is so much easier to, to check and yes. see where it's at. And I've gotten some questions lately, too, just because I think a lot of us still have maybe our phones or our apps in winter mode. If you touch the little icon that has the tornado and the lightning bolt, that's how you turn on the warnings. So oh, when you look okay. at the radar, you will be able to find those warnings on there. If you don't have that turned on, which I think a lot of them are automatically on, but maybe a good idea to check, um, it won't have the warnings on it. You'll just see the rain on the radar. So if you want to see the warnings, which I think is obviously very vital information, uh, make sure that little tornado and lightning bolt icon is on, and then you can switch it back to the snowflake when we get to winter, and that'll switch you back to winter alerts. Good reminder. Okay, that's all. Thanks, guys. Right. Thank you, Lydia. Good luck Thank with maternity you. leave. We'll miss you. Okay, well, of course, a big, big story today. We're tracking new developments. We do know right now former President Donald Trump will be holding a news conference this morning at 10 from Trump Tower. Uh, of course, now Trump is the first president in U.S. history to be convicted of a criminal offense. A jury found him guilty of all 34 counts of falsifying business records in his New York hush money trial. Uh, after leaving court, Trump called the verdict a disgrace, saying voters will have the final say when they vote in the presidential election. But, of course, still a big story. Uh, be, join us throughout the day, especially at 11 after that news conference, for, for the very latest on this developing story. 
Uh, Crookston police have released body cam footage of a deadly shooting that involved a man with a hatchet who threatened to kill anyone who came near him. This is the big story that we broke on First News here on WDAY. Usually we have to wait until the investigation is closed to see this body cam video, but you may remember last year the Minnesota legislature passed a bill that requires video of deadly police encounters to be released within two weeks. It's all about transparency. In the video, you can see 35-year-old Andrew Dale of Crookston. He's naked and controversial. Uh, confrontational. Uh, of course, uh, saying a lot, if you watch First News, you know some of the things he was saying to the officers who arrived. You can watch that video if you missed it. We have it posted right now to our website, inforum.com. The reward for a missing Iowa news anchor has now been raised to $100,000. It's a case that's been unsolved for almost 30 years. Of course, I'm talking about Jody Husentrut. She went missing 29 years ago after she failed to show up for work in Mason City, Iowa. Uh, police believe she was abducted on her way to work. Uh, the reward is a last attempt by a private investigator to learn anything about the case and hopefully find who's in truth's remains. The offer is good only until June 27th, the anniversary of her disappearance. Okay, big, big weekend. Of course, it's marathon week, but tonight uh, the Fargo uh, Marathon 5K will be kicking off. It's the Mark Knudsen 5K, uh, and some roads are going to be closed. So. Uh, exciting for runners. Also, if you're going to be driving up in the area of North Fargo or throughout town tomorrow, just be aware a lot of roads will be blocked off for the marathon events. Uh, Second Street between Main Avenue and 4th Street South and then 4th Street between 2nd and 6th Avenue South will be closed for that 5K from 6.30 to 8 tonight. Uh, tomorrow, big races getting started at like 6.30 in the morning. Uh, University Broadway, part of 13th Avenue South, oh, all will be closed oh. because of the full marathon a half marathon, 10K up into North Fargo, the dog run, the youth run, so many different races happening tomorrow. So just be aware that there's going to be a lot of road closures and a lot of congestion, especially in North Fargo throughout the weekend. Uh, another sign of the season, in addition to the marathon, today another area pool is opening for the season. Moorhead's pool will open this afternoon at 12.30. The waiting pools in Moorhead are also opening five of them. The waiting pool at South Park will remain closed. They're still doing some repairs at that location. Uh, we told you earlier this week, West Fargo's pool opened, and on Monday, Fargo Public Pools will be opening for the season. Another fun event this weekend that we're tracking for you, the Street Fair at the Lakes in DL starts today. There will be over uh, 120 booths this year. It runs from 10 to 7 today. The Eagle Street Dance starts at 8 tonight, and then tomorrow the fair runs from 10 to 5. Uh, in other news, uh, heads up heading into the weekend, because starting on Monday, West Fargo City Hall is moving, it's changing its location. City, office, uh, <clears throat> City offices will move to the former Wex building, that's just south of Costco on 6th Street East. Uh, if you need to go to City Hall for something with your utility bill, uh, permits, building inspections, assessments, all of that will be happening at this new location. Uh, the old location, however, will still host the City Hall meetings and the West Fargo Police Department and also the West Fargo Municipal Court will be there as well. Okay, we were excited about it for quite some time, but the Minnesota Timberwolf season is now officially over. If you didn't catch the game, they lost. The Mavs won game five, 124 to 103. The Mavericks will now go on to face the Celtics in the finals. That first game is next Thursday at 7.30. Talking sports, Hot Mike with Don Mizzo is coming up here 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra, also on Inform.com. The Dakota Marker game is going national. Uh, find out why ESPN chose the NDSU-SDSU game for national TV broadcast. Plus, Dom's also going to be talking with Grant Nelson. He's coming back home. UND has scheduled Alabama. So Dom will tell us what it means for the Devils Lake native to get a chance to play in his home state once again. Hot Mike is on 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and Inforum.com. Remember, Inform.com, the place to get all of these news, weather, sports headlines, and all access pass. 99 cents a month for your first three months. It's a great deal. Go to Inform.com slash subscribe to check it out. And be sure to join us for our next newscast. It's at 11 this morning, and we have you covered on this Friday as well this afternoon, starting at 4, 5, 6, and then 9 and 10. Have a great weekend, everyone.